What is up everyone? My name is Cargo. Welcome back to Calamity Rogue series number 19. We are so excited for today because I have some new weapons in mind that I would like to get. And also we're going to be taking on Astrum Aris, which I have no idea if that's said correctly. I'm doing my best. You guys commented on it last video. And you know what? I appreciate you guys. Some of you were really uh, sweet and you were like, yeah, that's okay. You know, you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to pronounce it correctly. We understand what you're saying. So it means a lot. Um, do we have a hammer? We do have a hammer. Let's use this bad boy. I don't know why we don't use our opponent's hammer. I'm just realizing that. We're still using our meteor ham axe. I feel like that's a mistake. Oh, it's because we used the opponent's hammer. Never mind. That makes sense. I'm totally forgetting myself. I'm getting ahead of myself today. I'm, I'm just excited. We got new weapons. I'm hoping that these are kind of like... I feel like in every episode, as recently, we've, we've gotten a lot of new weapons. And we've been kind of stuck. But hey... These ones should be bomb. So first on our list is the Mangrove Chakram, which um, I believe is made from Peneril. Let's, let's just go this. What is it? Peneril? Perennial. I was so close. Perennial, which we need perennial ore, which isn't ore. In, this, isn't this just in the cavern layer? Just like regular ore would be. Um, so let's go ahead and snag a couple of Spelunka potions. Maybe just one Spelunka potion. And let's grab some perennial ore. I feel like I've gotten it before. Like I accidentally mined it thinking it was a different thing. Or I didn't know what it was. I honestly don't remember. But, uh, oh, I've forgotten again. Uh, hi, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing swell. I actually don't know what perennial ore looks like. Ooh, that looks new. Oh, okay, this is it's probably that. Perennial bars are green-esque. Yo, chill. Dude, okay, uh, was it somebody in the comments? Was it Joey in the comments? I don't really remember. But somebody was saying that the uh, if the duck sound was bad, that I should get ready for the unending whooshes sounds from the Abyssal Mirror. And it's already getting to me. It really is. I should have done a montage from last video before I knew, because I didn't know what that whoosh was coming from. And I was honestly scared for my life. I really was. And I had no idea. What was happening? Like I was struggling. But hey, I've gotten used to it at least a little bit. It still kind of gets me if I'm not really prepared for it. I just imagine a boss fight that I would die immediately because I was scared of it. All right, so let's make some perennial bars. I don't need anything special for these, right? Perennial, yeah, look at that. We got 10 bars already and now I can make the mangrove chakra. Easy peasy. I'm gonna make the rogue damage one. Craft that. What does this look like? What does it do? Wow. That's pretty fantastic. And it leaves clouds? Wait, are those clouds... Like, do they do damage? It does not look like the clouds do damage. No, they don't. It's just effect. But these things fly far, and there's an infinite amount of them. And they're pretty quick. That's pretty bomb. You can't... That's... Weapon one of the three new weapons that we want to get. The next one is the Ballistic Poison Bomb. So, let's go ahead and search up this one. I don't remember. I think we might have everything for this one. Ballistic Poison Bomb. Boom. So, we have the Seafoam Bomb. We have the Depth Cells. The only... We do have Tenebris. Oh, we might be able to make this. Let's look it up. Ballistic... Ooh. No, we don't. We're missing something. We're missing Tenebris? That can't be right. Am I getting confused? Where do you get Tenebris? Oh, I was thinking of the Luminil. And the Depth Cells. Because we have a bunch of Depth Cells. Oh, no. What is Tenebris? Shoot. Now I'm getting all confused. Okay. So it's uh, it's just in the Aquatic Depths. Or the, the Abyss. Not the Aquatic Depths. I don't even know what that is. So we're going to go ahead and deposit all. We're going to use this. I think... This instead of the, the Terra Disc. Don't get me wrong, the Terra Disc is so good, but switching to it and then having it only have three uses is kind of disappointing, you know? Like, look at all those chakras coming back at me. Oh, it's just so, it's a beautiful thing. So let's go ahead, quick stack this. And I know that we're doing the Abyss wrong. We need diving gear. I really don't want to farm for diving gear, but we might have to. And. I, I think I read that you can make Tenebris. No, you can't. Okay. It's just must or mush or whatever it's called can be made into it. So let's grab a Spelunka potion. 
and a gills potion and we'll call it good there maybe uh maybe a sulfuric skin potion as well or it's called sulfurous skin just in case let's grab a beach potion and then we'll head over there so we we made a lot of progress today in our uh, summoning thorium calamity playthrough. It's uh it's pretty amazing, honestly. I feel really strong. We uh we defeated quite a number of bosses today. We defeated six bosses in the span of four hours. Let's see, what can I rename all of them? Okay, we did slime god, viscount, then we did the. Um, the storm energy one. I can't think of it. It's in the the. The golem, oh gosh, now I can't think of it. The granite biome, that one. Then we had the, the ancient warrior, or the Trojan warrior, I don't remember his name either, um, which is in the marble biome. And then we got the like the UFO one that's in the sky. And then we took on Wall of Flesh. I think that one's called Stark, Star Caller. I wanna say that's it. Okay, where's this Tenebris at? So another Abyssal Shocker. So, I thought Plenty Mush got made into Tenebris. Is this Tenebris? I'm pretty sure that's Scoria. I don't think this is Scoria. Or, I don't think this is Tenebris. Oh, yo, okay, my bad, bro. Dude, I'm so confused at where Tenebris is. That's all Scoria. I think we need diving gear. I think we're going to be stuck here. I hope the ballistic, ballistic poison bomb is worth it. I really do because if we go all this way and it's not, oof, upsetty spaghetti. Okay, there's a lot of bloody jellyfishes. We just used a Zergy boy and a battle potion. There's a lot going on down here. Oh no, we got Siren's Call down here. Please don't kill Siren. I would prefer not to take on the Vyther right now. <laughs> okay, did we get the diving helmet? I know we killed the shark down here. What is a frog wish or whatever that thing is called? Okay. Nothing down there. Maybe uh maybe our, our sandstorm would be better in this situation. Oh my gosh, there is so much damage right there. Still no sharky boys though. Tons of pirate maps though. Jeez, this is the way to do it. Let's get a quick Zerg. Oh we got a crimson key! Nice! Can we use that, uh, the Vampiric Knives to make something pretty sweet? Ooh, maybe we do that before the after hours? Oh my gosh. Any diving helmets down here? I'm not seeing any. I see the jellyfish. Necklace, which we already have as well. Yeah, no diving helmet. That's right. I think I'm just gonna farm this out. Once I get the diving helmet, you guys will know, alright? Oh, I finally got the diving helmet. Oh my gosh. I wish you could see my eyes light up like that. Maybe I can zoom in on it because holy moly. This this my eyes are gone. I've I have spawned in the sirens so many times through this whole process. I should have counted because honestly, this is it was nuts, but we've easy gotten three or four plat from this alone, and it is one of my favorite farming situations. Cause it's not that bad. It really isn't. I just have to not be dumb and run into things. But for the most part, everything drops a lot of gold. Everything's really nice. You guys can kind of see it's pretty easy. The sandstorm in the bottle is uh, doing work. But hey, look at that. We did it. We're gone. We're out of here. Let me cut this last patch of jellyfish because I'm addicted to getting money. Look at this. Oh my gosh, just so much gold everywhere. Very love it. All right, we'll do one last sweep of everything. Making sure we got everything all good. And we'll head home. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and deposit everything. Oh, we also got the Mantis Claws, which these things are pretty sweet. I always like these really fast uh, melee weapons. But and it, and it also explodes enemies on hits. Oh my gosh. Might just have to do a uh, playthrough just for that. A melee playthrough. Okie dokie. So diving gear, boom, perfect. Now we can make the jellyfish diving gear, boom. And then what else do we need? We need ice skates, which I know for a fact uh, someone sells the ice skates. Yeah, the tinker. All right, 
Now that we've gotten that, we'll go ahead and put you away. And we'll make the diving gear once again. Perfect. Arctic diving gear. And then the abyssal diving gear. And then the abyssal diving suit requires aluminite. So we're we're a little bit far away from that. But that's okay. All I know is that we get the diving gear. And that's all I want. So we got this. Let's go ahead and we'll probably replace it with our abyssal mirror for now. Uh, let me go ahead and pause it, everything. Quick stack. See, we have like five plat now. Almost five plat. That's pretty nice. It's pretty epic. Let's head over. Let's grab Spelunker Potion and a Hunter Potion. And then we'll be good. Okay, so... A big jump cut here. And it's not an intentional jump cut. So what just happened is... Um, there was a point in time when I was recording that I hit alt tab and I hit a hotkey on my screen and I I made a joke while um while recording saying like oh I can't believe I alt tabbed whatever haha <laughs> that'll make it in the edit and then I didn't realize the hotkey that I hit stopped the recording so I spent another hour and a half recording and none of it's captured literally none of it there's nothing I can do it's not like, the, oh, the video corrupted, or like my mic cut out. It just stopped recording. So, I, I honestly, I don't know what to do there. We got another Plague Bringer. I didn't know this was a boss. I wasn't farming for it. Now I've gotten it twice. And there's a new item I can get, I guess, from this thing. This thing, we're, we're pretty past progression on this, you know? But no, no, uh, I don't mean to give you any spoilers. But if you can tell from the item that we have, we've defeated Astromaris. And not only that, we also defeated Golem. So I'm going to refight these bosses real quick, just so I can show you guys the fights, because they're amazing fights. Maybe I might not show the Golem fight, because I actually don't care for the Golem fight at all. Um, just know that we beat it on our second try, and that's all you need to know. But uh, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly disappointed with whatever I just did. And it's not, I like, there's nothing I can blame. There's no, like, I can't believe my recording software did that. I can't believe like that um my mic broke or there's no there's no blame in anyone it's just me there's no blame in the software there's blame in the user and you know what that makes me sad i don't i don't know what we did i honestly don't know the hotkey or i would remove it um so i i don't i don't even know how to fix it or anything like that so we're just gonna we're gonna do the redo the Ostromaris fight. I'm gonna show you it because it's a fun fight. We killed it, we destroyed it. Having a blast. I'm gonna currently try to make this other weapon. This would be our seventh weapon on the day if we make this, which is pretty epic, you know? Oh, we have auto pause on. I just I can't believe that we did that. I'm sorry, I'm stunned. And I'm I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see me struggle through the fight. We uh in our Ashram Aris fight, we lost to it once, um, but we figured out that our Frost Crush Valerie is actually like the best weapon for it. Like we were, we were doing some real damage, you know. And and now it's all gone. It doesn't even matter. So we're just getting a core fight. We'll get the. No, I think we have enough. We'll get this life fruit, and then we're gonna go make this new weapon. Maybe we'll make another uh, life upgrade, like a, a life stimulant. I don't know what they're called, but I'm pretty sure I needed more life fruit, so we got more of that. So deposit, and then I don't even know what the other life upgrades are. And then what's this? What's this upgrade called? It's called the epidemic shredder. Oh, which we need nanites. Oh, we don't have nanites yet because our cyborg hasn't spawned in, but it should spawn in because we just beat. The, uh, we just be golem. Well, shoot, now I'm looking at this and I'm realizing that we need more housing. Oh my goodness, this episode just turned into so much longer. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, hang on. We do have the, uh, the cyborg. I just cut down a bunch of trees thinking that we didn't have the cyborg. But look at that. He's already moved in. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make this thing. And now I'm already forgetting the name of it. The Epidemic Shredder. And what am I missing? I can't possibly be Oh, chlorophyte bars. That's right. We got a bunch of chlorophyte and I forgot to make the, uh, the actual into bars. And shredder, boom. And then does this stack or anything? It doesn't look like it. Ooh, and it's already lethal. Nice. Whoa. So it's kind of better than, or is it better? I feel like it kind of um, reminds me of the chakram that we made, the mongrove chakram. chakram. Okay, I can get behind this. I could see how this would be really good. It looks like something did come up with it, because I don't think I would have found this if I didn't pause. Because I was literally, I was done with the recording when I found out the Plague Bringer. Let's head home, let's, uh, let's get all of our potions. I'm going to show you guys the Ashramaras fight, and then uh, I'm going to go through the upgrades that we made, and I'm going to show you what we did, and then I'm going to end the episode there. I am so sorry that this happened. Uh, I wish I could say it was never going to happen again, but honestly, I don't even know how we did it in the first place, so I'm afraid that we're going to recreate it accidentally again, and I, I, I don't know. Okay, so we've got the buffs. We are going to spawn an Astrotron. Boom. Look at that. And we waited for our Rage to buff up, so we know we're going to be doing tons of damage here. Okay, we are, I'm going to try the new weapon out. How is this thing working? Looks like it's doing all right. Okay, I've actually got to be careful here because I'm not in, I'm not like in strong or anything. I just I barely beat this boss the last time. I do want to bring it this way. Um, but I, I don't know if I talked about this in uh, within the 25 minutes that I got recorded. <laughs> Oh, I just, I recorded for two hours and only 25 minutes got actually recorded of it. That's so sad. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know how much of it or what stories I said or anything like that. So if I said this like uh, already, then I'm it's gonna I don't even care. It's gonna be in the video again. <laughs> so um, I I was talking earlier about um, or I talked in the last video about how my dog we've been going on morning walks, me and my wife and with my dog. And it's been really great and um, like obviously the morning times aren't super awesome for me but uh you know because we we, we're, we we don't sleep very well but we're, we're learning we're getting a better schedule and everything's great you know everything comes to time but my doggo the, the sunrise particularly today was so cute my doggo was sitting um in front of the window today and he was just oh he was adorable okay we almost have a general in here Oh my gosh, we just did so much damage. We just hit 3k damage per second. Yeah, but anyhow. So he's being particularly cute this morning. So I took a picture. If you want to see it, I posted it on the Twitters. If you want to go check my Twitter out, it's uh, in, the, in the description down below. Leave it a follow, you know? We post lots of pictures of the doggos. You can't not post pictures of the doggo, you know? If you guys have cute doggos, cute puppos, Dude, send me a Twitter. I would love to see them. You want know, to tweet at me? Okay, we're kind of taking damage here, but we're also doing pretty well. But, uh, one of the main reasons we started doing those uh, walks in the morning is because, like, usually how my, what we would do is my wife would do the morning walk because she got up earlier than me, and then I would do the evening walk, you know, do the night, the walk at night, it was a little sketchy. But uh, my wife has asked me, and A, I wanted to get up earlier and have a better schedule, so that's why I really did it, but B, you know, my wife doesn't always feel the safest when she's uh, walking around uh, our doggo in the mornings all alone because we don't live in the, the greatest area, you know? Uh, I, I don't think that's any uh, surprise to anyone that lives there, you know? It wouldn't be, oh, we just got an adrenaline and I missed it. But that being said, um, we actually just signed in on a new lease, so we're going to be moving here in the next couple of weeks to a better area. It's uh, a little bit more enclosed. It's a little bit closer of a community. So we're gonna like know the people that live next to us. I mean, currently we live in an apartment complex that has a thousand different apartments in it, you know? And like, that's no uh, that's no joke. I mean, there's like, it's really hard for us to like get to know your neighbors and whatnot. 
So, um, that was Astromaris. Look at that. We did it. That was a pretty easy fight. No, it wasn't easy. We were just better at it. Wait, wait we got an Astro Scythe as well? Okay, did we get any rogue weapons? Because we didn't get any rogue weapons last time. Nope. We got the mask, and then we got a summon, which I'm sure is pretty sweet. Let's check out the summon. Oh, it's, it's fighting things. Oh, we just got an ice golem over there. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking summon. But yeah, so um, we're, we, we, we bought a townhouse, if, or we didn't buy a townhouse, we're renting a townhouse. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a little bit better than an apartment, but it's like, you don't own it. I mean, I guess you could own a townhouse, but it's primarily for renting. And uh, it's two stories, which is like a bit of an upgrade for us because we're currently on one story and uh, kind of cramped in our space. And it also has a nice little yard for the puppo. You know, we got, we got good things going for us in that. Um, and we're really excited to move in, but these next two weeks are going to be crazy. So if we don't get enough uploads, and I'm going to do my best to keep uploading, but we might we might be a little bit, uh, little bit slower. It might not be daily as we move and kind of reconfigure everything. But I'm gonna be so excited to have a dedicated uh, streaming area, you know, like in my own place. You would think that would be a, uh, a given, but no, it isn't. It's not. Let's also check this out. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, that's not bad. I like that. Too bad it's not for Rogue. Sold. <laughs> We're just selling everything. We want all the money. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that mask. That mask is pretty sweet. But overall, we're done. We beat the Astrum Aris. So when we beat Astrum Aris, we uh, also got a Crimson Key. I don't know if you guys saw that. I think you guys did when we were farming in the ocean. So we opened up our Astral Chest, which is right here. And we got that disc that we get from the astral chest and then we also opened up our crimson chest and we found out that the crimson or the vampire knives makes a pretty friggin sweet weapon but it is very very late in the game so we will not be seeing that weapon for quite some time and then once we did that we also farmed for the stellar knife which took no time at all it literally took like two minutes and we got two of them um but you get the stellar knife from an enemy in the astral biome and the astral biome uh, after you beat astros arm astral arm Aris, there we go see i've said the boss name too many times today correctly i've got to balance it out I'm saying it incorrectly so i'm sorry everyone but yeah so we got the seller knife seller knife is all right um i don't know how i feel about this thing it's kind of feels kind of weak to me so i mean it is strong like don't get me wrong it's better than a lot of other weapons but it just doesn't seem like it'd be that good. So the thing, the, the great thing about it is that if you miss, it homes in on enemies, which is pretty sweet. I mean, you, know, you can't, you can't really complain about that. But the homing, it kind of misses sometimes, or like it won't work. And now the Heavenfall Star Disc. This thing is pretty sweet, and it took me a second. I had to read the tooltip to know what it does. But it, it goes up in the air, and then it follows your cursor, so wherever your cursor's at. It does a heck of a lot of damage when you hit things. Dude, we still can't break this stuff. I thought you need a pixel off of this. Is that just the Sakurai or whatever? The the ore that's in the abyss? Anyhow, we got that. So we got the pixel off from first try from beating the golem, which was so amazing because I really did not want to farm golem. And so we, we beat the golem, got out of there, got the pixel. And then those are really the upgrades that we made. We haven't gotten anything else. Um... But with the three weapons that we made early on. Oh, and we did make the weapons. Oh, shoot. You guys didn't see that. Okay, let me pull these weapons out real quick. Just so I can show you guys it. Oh, man. What a what a trip. What a terrible time. So we got the ballistic bomb. Poison bomb. And then we also got... What was it? Oh, yeah. You guys seen the Valari. Trash Coast Valari. That thing was sick. And then the mangrove chakram. Do we already have that on us? I don't see it. Did we delete it? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. So, we initially used this on our first attempt of Astromaris today. And it didn't go so great. You know, it was doing good damage. It was better than what we had before. But I started using the Frost Crush Valari towards the end of the, the first fight. And I realized how much better it is. It just has a better, like, range and just better damage overall. Like, I can hit this thing so far off screen. I can be so far away. And then it also, one of the best things is that when it hits, it spreads, like, shoots, like, a spread of icicles, which all hit the Ashramaris, like, on impact. So it was really nice. And the Flawless Ballistic Poison Bomb, it was good, 
But the only thing is, is it was really short range and I really couldn't do well with aiming it. So it wasn't really great for a boss fight. I could see it being really good in like close range, like in the ocean, like how we were um, farming earlier with this with the dust storm in the bottle. But um, not super, not super great. So I, th I don't think we're gonna be using that very often. But I think that is gonna be the end of the episode. Um, again, I'm so sorry that you guys missed everything. I feel like I've said sorry like a billion times, but there's nothing I can do about it. There ain't nothing. And you know what? If there's nothing you can do about it. Why are we saying sorry? It's in the past. Peep the voice crack. But thank you all so much for watching, for hanging around. If you do like the video, maybe uh, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And then also, maybe leave a like. I would really appreciate it. It does help the channel a lot. If there's something that I, uh, I did that you did like, please let me know in the comments. Or if there's something that you noticed that I could do better at. Also, I love constructive criticism. I want to be better for you guys. And I can only do that if you guys tell me. So I really appreciate it. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!